Here's a goal that we ended up scoring with Luis Figo's card. We get the push off of the defender. We go for the nice little flick up. Green time to strike and a nice little finish uh, to score the opportunity. I wish I had my live reaction for it, but I wasn't recording, so... Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Luis Figo card to check out. Uh, this is Nick's favorite player, guys. 5'11", high low work rates, right footed. 5 star skill moves with a 4 star weak foot. Uh, so they've given him the 5 star skill moves for the World Cup variation of the card. Uh, player traits in game, he's got outside foot shot, technical dribbler, flare traits, in game attributes. This is how the card is formatted. Uh, we are going to be trying him out on a couple of different things. We're going to give him a Hunter chemistry style, a Hawk chemistry style, as well as an Engine chemistry style as the review progresses, right? So with Figo in-game, this is what the card is going to look like um, on the most relevant chemistry style that people are giving him, right? So which is going to be the Hawk chemistry style. Boosting the pace, shooting, and physicality of the card. And then there's also people that might give him like a Hunter chemistry style because of the maximized pace. And then they would just work with the shot power being on the lower side, right? So with the way that this card is formatted with the Hawk, which is probably going to be the most used one. Pace will be there. Shooting will be in the 90s area. He'll have a little bit of physical presence um, or physical stats. He is an average body type player while working with a 5'11 height uh, with dribbling stats as it is. So... Here's the thing, right? With this card on an average body type, his balance is at an 81, which could present to be a problem, which is where the engine chemistry style could be a thing that actually helps it out quite a bit. Um, but you also have to take into consideration that by default, this card also has an 83 for composure, okay? So with shooting on an engine, his shooting is still going to be an 88, but you do have to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. But on a Hawk, you'll be able to work with the shooting a little bit more. Defensive stats, this card doesn't really have any defensive stats. And then for physical capabilities, um, on a Hawk chemistry style, you boost the physical. If you give him anything else like a Hunter, then the physical is going to be where it's going to be, right? So with a card like this, guys, he has the cam position, right mid, right wing. This is a card that I do mainly see being played in the right-sided areas. So for the sake of the review, we'll be using him in the right-sided areas because we're doing reviews for multiple cards here. Um, so we have the 424 formation, and we'll be switching between... This card playing in that right-sided position, uh, playing right wing. I think it's right wing in this 4-2-4. And in the right striker area, right? So the instructions is going to be stay central, get him behind, come back and defense. And then for the right wing position, we're going to have him on the comeback and defense uh, against the box or the cross, right? So we can test him out attacking and defensive wise because it's always relevant to have some defensive capabilities while playing in the side areas as well. So um, yeah, we'll see what he's like playing in those areas. Hopefully he's a beast. Uh, no foul, I'll take it. And here's how the Ducks will line up. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Ronald Koeman in central defense. And summon it. And that works. That works. High marks for his reading of that. Uh, okay. My boy Blanc, don't look at Blanc. Oh. Oh, dude, I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't expect that. I was like, wait. Go, Figo. Go. Yeah, that dribbling is, uh, is annoying sometimes. There we go. You go on the defense. Hakimi. Oh, I tried to do a flick backwards, but this guy's like not beat. Sure, that works. Thanks, uh, Figo. Appreciate you, buddy. I don't even know what just happened right there, but sure. Figo got on the defense. So this is going to be a goal that we end up scoring with uh, Figo's card. Just general build up play, working with him through the middle, you know, pass the ball to the sides. We get fortunate here from the driven pass because sometimes that specific angle doesn't really work. But we go for the heel to heel to force the animation out of the goalkeeper. And then we do end up scoring that opportunity. Here's a goal that we ended up scoring with Luis Figo's card. We get the push off of the defender. We go for the nice little flick up green time to strike and a nice little finish. 
uh, to score the opportunity. I wish I had my live reaction for it, but I wasn't recording, so... Nothing on the green time strike there. Oh, he moved his goalkeeper at the end there. Oh. Oh, but look who's there. Laurent Blanc. Yo, chill, bruh. Oh, you ain't gonna get through that, my boy. Half shot. That works. That works. Let's go, Figo. Half shot. There you go. There you go, Figo. Even on an engine, like, his dribbling is still set up a certain way, you know? Ooh, you never know. Sometimes it works out. Oh, nothing. He, like, swipes at the ball and completely misses. No, couldn't get the shot off. Still got the ball back, nice. Regular time finish, ends up scoring. Very good, very good. Another block from the green time. Go! Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. The loop! The loop! Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Figo SBC. So... In regards to how this card performs in game, guys, we tried him out on three different chemistry styles. I gave him um, the Hawk chemistry style, I gave him the Hunter chemistry style, and I also gave him the Engine chemistry style, right? So, with how this card performs in game, obviously having the skill moves is a massive plus compared to the other versions of his cards because uh, they're all four star, four star players, uh, which isn't necessarily honestly the greatest to work with because he has like the average body type his dribbling works a certain way right so definitely a huge plus to have um in regards to that but i'm gonna be honest with you guys man portugal fc you know portuguese sentimental value fc all that good stuff you guys know how we do it over here uh but when a portuguese player is not that crazy i'm gonna let you guys know you know i think palinha is nuts i think renato sanchez is nuts i think that uh, Diego Dalo is great. Cancelo is great. Like, these are meta Portuguese players, okay? This Figo card, in my opinion, is genuinely... If they if they release his SBC at, like, 550k or whatever, he's going to be overpriced, okay? Because he's honestly really average, in my opinion. Like, he's really, really average. It's like they made a usable version of Figo, right? It's a usable version, but he just doesn't have the right characteristics or the right stats to kind of perform a certain way in the meta of the gameplay, okay? So, here's the thing. On the high-low work rates, you know, cool work rate to have, all that good stuff, but it didn't matter what chemistry style I gave him, there was always something that's, like, off about the card, right? So, let's take a look at him, right? So, let's say, you know, I gave him the engine chemistry style, you know, pace boost, uh, dribbling boost, and passing boost. The dribbling you can't fix, okay? You can't fix the dribbling of this card. It's still very, very average. Get it? Average with the average body type. Guys, some average body type players, like, you don't care about it, right? For instance, Michael Lowen has an average body type. His average body type is perfectly fine. In-game, his dribbling is no problem whatsoever. You can't fix the dribbling on the Figo card. Whether you give him an engine, whether you give him uh, whatever, it's not going to fix it. Because the main part is going to be the balance, the agility, and the dribbling. And if you can't fix that, it's not going to feel any better, right? So, you can make him feel a little bit more usable with the left stick, with the engine chemistry style, but... You know, and the thing is, right, is that 
I felt like I had to give him the engine. And when I feel like I have to give him the engine, I already know that the card's not that crazy because he's missing the key area of shooting. So I would have to work high percentage strikes. Here's the thing though, okay? With lower shooting stats in regards to shot power and stuff, if you are taking long distance strikes over on that right side with his outside foot shot and you green time your shots, he's gonna get the looping action, right? It's because of the shot power being lower and because of you green timing your shot because he also has the outside foot shot trait, so he's able to do that kind of stuff. But guys, listen, man, if I were to play this game consistently and I had my Portuguese squad, I wouldn't do this card. I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? And this is the most usable version of his card. It is, but it's just nothing crazy special in game. Like it would be frustrating to use him sometimes, to be honest with you, because Listen, I had him on a Hunter and a Hawk, and right away I'm like, I have to boost the dribbling. And when I have to boost the dribbling and I don't boost the shooting, it's all over the place. Like, technically speaking, sure, you could give him a finisher, you know, boosting the shooting, boosting the dribbling. But guys, like I was saying, the key area is to boost the balance of the card, and when you can't boost that, that means that you're going to be missing a few things, right? So if I play him in the side positions, and he's at 91 acceleration, 91 for sprint speed, when his average body type already works a certain way for his runs, whereas... You know, if I were to give him an engine and his running still doesn't feel that crazy, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, honestly, like I said, Portuguese FC, but I'm going to tell you guys when a card feels average, he's average, man. He doesn't he doesn't feel that special, you know, especially at the price range. Like, I'm not even joking. It should be way, way lower, way, way lower. Like, they gave him the five-star scale. It's all cool. Luis Figo has five-star skills, but it should be way lower. He's He's so average, in my opinion, you know? Can you make him work? Yeah, we scored some really cool goals with him. You know, the ni nice little flick up into the green time shot was a great goal. I wish you guys saw my live reaction for that. We hit we hit the outside foot shot uh, because of the shot power, power being lower, hitting that outside foot shot. Works great, right? Can you make him work? Sure. If you're playing him on the right side of position, but if you're playing in the top tier divisions, foot champs, like, it, he, doesn't, he doesn't really feel like he does much, you know? So... All memes aside towards Nicholas, he's right. He's an average card, man. There's nothing too crazy special. So, so yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.